Good day students, welcome to mathgoodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over how to solve systems of linear inequalities using your TI-83 calculator and also your TI-89 um, graphing calculators. All right, let's consider the following example. It says solve the given system, um, the system of inequalities graphically. Okay, and then a side question is 3 5 the solution. All right, so we're going to be graphing this system using both calculators. Um, let's start with the um, TI-83 calculator first, okay? So for the TI-83 ca calculator, just press your Y button. That takes you to the graphing window with all your functions ready to be entered. So for Y1, we're going to enter the first inequality. So we're going to enter a negative 5 divided by 3 x minus 3. Press enter. Okay, so what happens when you graph this function? You have just a line. Okay? All right, now um, you have a inequality, you have an inequality here, namely the greater than or equal to inequality. So how do we apply that effect on this graphing calculator. How do we communicate that we want the top of the line shaded? Well, all you have to do is you move your cursor to the left of the entry um, field. Okay, you're going to go to the equal and then all the way to the line. As soon as that line starts to alternate between the cursor and the line itself, that means now that it is now ready to be altered. Okay, you can now alter the style of the line. The first option is a line. Press enter to toggle between the different styles. The next one is a solid line. You see it's thicker than the other line. Press enter again. Now this means you shade the top. Okay? Now don't forget, whenever you have greater than or equal to, with a linear inequality in standard, I'm sorry, in slope intercept form, basically with y isolated, that means you're going to be shading the top. Okay? So greater than or equal to means solid line shade up for um, a linear inequality in slope intercept form. All right, now uh, move away from there and press graph. Let's see what happens. You see the top of the line has been shaded. Okay, the upper half of the line has been shaded because of that alteration we made. Now let's enter the second function, 1 divided by 3 x plus 3. If I just put this in, what do you expect to see? You're going to see a line. Okay, let me just show that to you. Bam. Now let's apply the style to the line. Now how do we do it? You move your, uh, you press your left button so that the cursor moves all the way here. So let's press it. One, two. And then you keep hitting enter until the style is consistent with what this inequality is indicating which is above or greater, okay? Press enter, solid line, enter again, shade the top. If you press enter again, it's, it's going to show you other styles, but the one for this problem is shading above for both lines. So we have that applied and hit graph. Let's see what it looks like. There goes the first line, shade above. There goes the second line, shade it above. And this region right here is your solution region, okay? And then there's another question here that is 3, 5, a solution. So all you just have to do is move your cursor to uh, 3, 5 and see if um, it falls within the intersection of the two shaded regions right here, okay? So let's do that real quick. So trace, um, move your cursor. Well, I don't want to use trace, so let's escape from that. Press my escape button. Well, I'll just quit. Let me just quit it. Uh, we just we have only the escape button on the TI-89. We don't have it on the TI-83. Okay, so just move your cursor to 3, 5. So go up, 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 up. Keep on going. 2, 3, 5. So... So somewhere here is 5, okay? And then where is 30? Move to the right. Keep on going. Oh, there you go. So 3 is going to be somewhere here. Is it an intersection of the two shaded regions? The answer is yes. So um, you can conclude that 3, 5 is a solution. 
if you want to check um, numerically, just plug in these or repairs into the to the inequalities and see if you ended up with a true statement. Now, just a real quick review. Um, what is the solution region of a graph system of linear inequalities? In this context, what we're looking at is this region right here. I may make it green. So from here, the boundary and including this region right here, that is a solution region. So see right here, all this, any ordered pair, any point that falls in this shaded region right here, the intersection of the shaded region, or on the boundary lines, all those represent the solution. So this is a solution um, to the system of inequalities. All right, so that's just a side point, just in case you, you don't know what I'm talking about when I mean I'm the solution to the system. All right, so let's go back to the um, graph, to the calculator. Now, there are some major limitations in using a calculator to solve systems of linear inequalities graphically. First big limitation is that if you have an inequality that excludes the line, like a less than or greater than, in that case, when you graph it, your lines will be broken. But you cannot apply that style to the graphing um, feature of the calculator. You can only shade, and you can draw, and the lines are solid. Okay, so you um, you can't do that here. Uh, so what's what's the benefit of using a calculator? Well, it gives you a general idea as to what the correct um, orientation of the lines look like, and also the solution region. So you you, you can use it to check your work basically. Okay, so when you sketch it and you see that the intersection region is similar to this, then you know that your answer is in fact correct. All right, now let's take a look at the TI-89 calculator. Now the method is very uh, similar between them, but there's just one slight difference. So let's press diamond Y, uh, diamond F1 to go into the graphing window. The system we're using here is also applicable to the TI-89 titanium calculators also. And then the system I use here, you can use it for the TI-84 um, pluses and not uh, silver edition. Okay, so what we're going to do is just enter these two functions here as we did um, with the TI-83. So we have negative 5 divided by 3, x minus 3. That's the first line. And then we have one third x plus three. That's the second line. So when we hit the graph, what do you expect to see? Let's press graph. We have two lines. Okay. All right. But we have inequalities here, which involve shading above the two lines. So how do we apply that style to our lines? Now, this is where you have the difference. So in order to indicate that we want the top of this line shaded, since we have a greater than or equal to inequality, you go to the F6 menu. Okay, so second function, F1, will take you to F6. You have line, dot, square, thick, animate, path, and above. What you want is above, press enter, okay? Just to make sure that the correct style has been selected for this function, you press second function F1 again, and what do you notice? Option seven is has a check mark next to it. So when it's graphing um, this function, it's gonna also shade the top of the line. All right, well, let's test it out, hit graph. Can we see that? Okay, so let's go back and apply the appropriate style to uh, the second one. Uh, so highlight the function, press second function F1, which is F6. Scroll down to above, which will cause the function to shade, the calculator to shade the top of the line. And then just press second function F6 again, just to make sure that the correct style is selected. Now let's hit graph. Um, diamond uh, F3, and then we have the first inequality, 
a second inequality. And there goes your solution region. Okay, so that's basically how um, you, you use your calculators to graph um, system of linear inequalities. Another limitation to using your calculators involves sketching vertical lines. Okay, it's impossible to draw vertical lines with your calculators. For example, if you have x is less than or x is greater than, that would be a vertical line that divides your um, coordinate system into a right and a left plane. That cannot be done here. It, this calculator can handle horizontal lines, but vertical lines are not um, possible using uh, the graphing calculator. Like I said earlier, this feature is good to just help you check your work. It's important to be able to graph these without the aid of a calculator. All right, let's take a look at another example. This is an interesting question. So let's say you have, for number two, um, the system of inequalities y greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 3, and then y less than or equal to negative 2x minus 3. Okay, so let's solve this graphically using our graphing calculator. So let's um, do this with a TI-83. So you go to your y window, square that. Uh, we have negative 2x plus 3, enter, and then the other one is negative 2x minus 3, a little loud is stuff out of there, enter. Okay, so this one is greater, and this is less, so uh, go to your, move your cursor to the, way to the left, when the line starts flashing, you start to alter the sign by hitting alter, enter, solid, Shade above, perfect. All right, go down. This is less than for the second uh, inequality. Press enter once. So you have this one you're shading the top, this one you're shading the bottom. Okay. All right, let's make sure it's correct. Okay. Looks good. Good graph. That goes the first line and the first inequality. And there goes the second inequality. So what is the solution here? What is the intersection of the shaded regions? We have two parallel lines that are distinct and there is no intersection of the shaded regions. So is there a point that satisfies both inequalities? The answer is no. So in a situation like this, guess what? You have no solutions, no solutions. Okay, since you have um, no intersection. All right, let's take a look at question number three. Now you have the inequalities in standard form. How do you enter something like this in your calculator? This is another limitation of our graphing calculators. They cannot enter, you cannot enter an, an, a function into the calculators except it's solved explicitly in terms of y. As you can see here, you have only y on the left side. So if you have a situation presented to you in standard form, in order for you to use a calculator, you must first convert both inequalities to slope intercept form, namely isolate the y's, okay? Let me show you what I'm talking about. So for this one, we just subtract 3x from both sides. Uh, subtract 3x, subtract 3x. The first inequality becomes y is less than negative 3x plus 4. So this is graphable. Okay, for this one, we have to subtract 2x <clears throat> from both sides. And then you have negative y is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 2. Okay, so can we graph right now? Can we enter both um, inequalities into our calculator? The answer is no. Why not? Well, this has y isolated, which is good, but this one needs to have a negative. It has to be converted completely into slope-intercept form, and I'm not done with the conversion of the second inequality, so I need one more step, namely divide both sides by negative 1. Okay, so the first inequality remains unchanged. I do 3x plus 4, and then the second one becomes y. Now, anytime you divide by a negative, you have to flip the sign of an inequality, okay? So it becomes less than or equal to 2x minus 2. Now, so with something like this, you can enter in your calculator. Note, the first one will be drawn with a solved line because uh, that's the only option we have. 
and the second one is, is, is fine, okay? So when you get a problem that's presented in standard form, you have to convert it into slope intercept form first before you can solve it with your graphing calculator, okay? So I'll leave this for you um, to solve. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. And if all the contents of this tutorial helpful in your mastery of the use of your calculator, to give us a thumbs up, your positive feedback is very important and supportive to us. Any questions, uh, just place your questions in the comment section below and we'll be glad to support you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for other cool uh, ways to use your calculators, such as this. Uh, more clips can be found on math.serve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.